He was one of the Cold War's most infamous double agents, a former MI6 officer who betrayed his country to spy for the Soviet Union. In Russia, George Blake is seen as a hero. After passing information that unmasked hundreds of covert British agents in Eastern Europe. But here, he's seen as the ultimate traitor, after some of the agents he exposed were executed. It's rather like if you imagine you're in a, a football team and you're in the cup final and a member of your own team at the crucial moment turns around and kicks the ball into your own net deliberately. That's the kind of sickening feeling you have about a traitor. Blake's own cover was blown in 1961. He was sentenced to 42 years in London's Wormwood Scrubs prison, but he didn't stay very long, escaping after five years in a plot straight from the pages of a spy thriller. Blake managed to scale these walls with the help of three former inmates who threw him a rope from out here. After making his getaway, he spent two months in hiding before being smuggled across the channel in a camper van and driven to East Germany. Blake was hidden in a wooden box attached underneath. Blake never regarded himself as a traitor, claiming he never felt British. He was born in Holland and acquired citizenship through his father. He defected after being captured during the Korean War and remained an ardent supporter of communism even after the Soviet Union fell. If we had, it had been able to build a society which was both just, where there uh, was equality, and where there was an abundance of goods, as was the intention, an abundance of goods, then, uh, of course, the Soviet, the, the Soviet Empire wouldn't have... Um, Disintegrated. Are you a friend of his? Yes, I am his friend. The war reporter Philip Dean was held captive in Korea alongside Blake and became one of his defenders. Well, I think he accepted to be a patty in a double agent game so that uh, his conviction would prove to the Russians that the false information he fed them was true. Blake lived out his years in Moscow, where he remained one of the UK's most wanted criminals, a spy who'll never be forgiven for spying on his own. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.